Watching the world burn, watching the world burn, November 19th, 2023. Let's get into it. <clears throat> so this is the video I promised yesterday. By the way, uh, <laughs> my, my, my call for a ceasefire in uh, Gaza did not go over well. A lot of, a lot of people... A lot of hate, uh, a lot of hate on that video. Um, I just, uh, I get tired of watching people die. Uh, I won't torture you up front. Uh, we're going to finish off this video with uh, just a little bit of footage that I have to watch every day to make these videos. Uh, and you ask, well, why do you do it? Well, I fell down a bunch of stairs, broke my neck, should have died. And uh, I just think that, and of course, nobody watches these videos. But anyway, I, I make them because... Well, it makes me feel better, and I think it's uh, I, I, I was left on this planet for a reason, so this is my reason. So uh, the first thing I wanted to get to is uh, I wanted to talk about, you know, this is my I was right about everything video. Uh, so the first thing was I was right about the jab. Now, I have to be real, real careful on, uh, like, platforms like YouTube. Now, I don't think Rumble would censor this video, so definitely check out the burn, the burn on Rumble. Assuming that this video doesn't get banned or I get completely banned from YouTube. Uh, but let's, uh, rather than talk about, uh, well, Fauci, I can think I can say this. Fauci was a lying dirtbag <laughs> that funded gain of function, created the virus in a Wuhan lab, and killed millions around the world. Uh, so anyway, that's uh, that's my take on Fauci. I, I think I can say that. I'm not sure. Uh, but let's, let's, let's get into an analogy because I don't want to bash the... Uh, uh, the COVID vaccine. Uh, you, you get it. Yeah, get, get your booster to your booster to your booster to your booster to your booster. I mean, I got, I, there's no problem. I mean, I, I think it's a, probably a good idea. You never know. Kind of like that flu shot that uh, I don't get no more because I don't trust the pharmaceutical industry. But let's, let's pretend, let's look back. Now, Elon Musk, he's coming out with some new chip technology that I uh, that we're going to insert into people's brains, uh, the neurotechnology. And uh, let's just pretend that um, uh, the government, could be any government, Canada, United States, uh, most of the Western countries would probably go along with this. And what they discovered is that through this neural chip, um, they can discover mentally ill people. And, uh, and so there's, there's massive numbers of advertisements uh, coming out that... Everybody needs to get the neural chip so that the government knows whether they're mentally ill or not. And they're putting out advertisements that you are a danger to society if you don't get the neural chip. Uh, because nobody has, all your friends and neighbors, especially Democrats, they don't know if, uh, if you're a danger to society. And, but the, the thing is, you know, so you're, you're thinking about getting this, this uh, chip in your head. And, uh, and so you're going, well, wait a minute, um, what if, if, I, if it causes problems or I just I want to get it back out again or anything like that, uh, what, you know, how would that work? Well, then the, the government comes back to you and they tell you, because remember that the jab was experimental and you had no legal recourse on anything. So the government comes back and says, no, no, once, once we got that chip in your head, there's nothing you can do about it. Well, you mean I can't, like sue somebody or get in court if it, if it causes me problems or I, I just don't want it no more I can't take it out nope nope you can't do anything I you know but we this is for your benefit and then they convince all your neighbors including your Democrat wife uh, my ex-wife uh, that uh, if, if you don't get that neural chip you're you're a danger to your ex-wife uh, you're a danger to your your Democrat neighbors uh, and and so everybody's out there and they're all just like Get the chip, get the chip, get the chip, get the chip. And, uh, and every other advertisement on TV, on, on radio, on everything is get the chip, get the chip, get the chip. You benefit society. You, you do everything for society. That's your moral obligation. And then they start coming down and they say, well, guess what? If you don't get the chip, you can't fly anywhere. If you don't get the chip, you can't drive a car. If you don't get the chip, you can't go to the grocery store. So... I'm just kind of trying to give this analogy. And then, of course, you know, I, I look back on the masks. I'm not saying masks are good, masks are bad. You do what you want, man. I, you don't fucking put a plastic shield over your head where you wear a damn, uh, you know, uh, uh, radioactive suit, whatever you need to do to protect yourself. 
But, uh, but so if you haven't gotten the chip, you have to wear a badge, just like the Jews did in, uh, in, in Nazi Germany. And so you have to say, I'm not a chipped person. And so that way that, uh, and whether it could be a, it could be a badge or they could be force a chip into your hand or your arm. And, uh, and when you go to the store, you have to scan that in or, or, or whatever your ID. And uh, it says, are you chipped or are you not chipped? Have you had the neural implant in your head? And you think, oh my God, that cybersecurity guy, this sounds so far-fetched. What well, didn't you just go through it? And all the Democrats, all the Democrats, the warmongering, totalitarian, Marxist, communist Democrats said that you have to get the neural implant in your head. Just saying. Just wanted to throw out that analogy. You, you, you make of that what you will. So um, we don't want to talk anymore about that. Uh, and then, of course, you know, people that come back and they say, well, the, you know, Trump, Trump was the one who developed the, uh, the, the neural technology with the help of Elon Musk. Uh, you know, can't you condemn both of them? Well, yeah, yeah, he certainly could, uh, but I don't think they had evil intent. Whereas uh, once the Democrats got in there, I think it was pure evil because they forced it on everybody. Trump never forced anything on anybody. It was your choice. My body, my choice, right? My body, my choice. What happened to that? What happened to that? You tell me. What, why is it that I have to be forced to put a neural implant in my head uh, because my Democrat neighbors think that I have to have it? Uh, you tell me. Somebody explain that to me. All right. So, uh, and then, of course, uh, I was right about Ukraine. As we can see, the war is coming to an end probably within the next, well, let's say six months. I, I can't imagine it was going to take that long. And everybody said, well, you're a Putin lover. You're a Putin lover. You know, and of course, all the propaganda was out there and all the Democrats, all the, the Borg, they are the Borg. I'll just call them the Borg. Uh, they were out there saying, you know, if you say anything against the war in Ukraine and the billions and billions of dollars that, that we're spending to, to help these hapless Ukrainians that were attacked mercifully by the bad Russians, then you're a Putin lover and you're a Russian lover and uh, we don't want anything to do with you. Well, fine, fine. You know, I guess I am. Maybe I'm. But I think I admire Putin. He's got an 80 cent approval rating right now. Russia's growing by about 5% uh, in their in their GDP. Look at what we're doing. We're crashing. We're crashing. We, we, you know, so I was I was right about the Ukraine more. I um, told everyone that the. the and, of course, if you look back in history, which most people don't know anything about, you understand that Russia was provoked into the war. And, uh, and I told everyone that Ukraine had no chance against Russia. Russia, who's defeated every single army that's come across. I mean, to think about it. The United States, we had our Civil War, and we had the Spanish-American War, and we had the... Well, I guess the, the, the closest that we came was the British... Uh, back when uh, in, what was it, 1812? I think that's the, that was the War of 1812. And that, that's the closest that we came to a foreign army uh, uh, defeating the United States. Since then, we've been pretty much left alone by the world other than our own internal, and of course, going around the world, warmongering on everybody else. Uh, but Russia's been invaded. Good God, I, you know, in the last thousand years, I, I, you know, I, I can't even count the number of times they've been invaded. And, uh, and they told NATO, you know, don't keep expanding. Don't put the Baltic nations in NATO. Imagine if we had Russia in Mexico or we had China in Canada. What do you think that the, you know, uh, that the United States would be thinking about that? They, we'd be crying all over, you know, oh, man, we're going to have to take them out. There's no way we want Russian uh, ICBMs or uh, nuclear bombs in Mexico. We certainly don't want Chinese nuclear bombs in Canada, but that's what we've done. We brought NATO right up to the border of Russia, and Russia said nit means nit. No means no. All right. So anyway, that's why they invaded uh Ukraine, make of that what you will. Give me, give me some more hate. Give me some more hate. I love, I love the hate. Uh, and I was right about uh, Gaza, even though I got a lot of hate on that video from yesterday. The collateral damage. Uh, and you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna make you watch. Uh, this will probably get this video. Well, it, it should probably just go 18 and above on on YouTube. But let's just watch a clip of of. Um, this is this this is what I have to watch each day, and I, I don't think it's that bad because you don't actually see people die in this video but you have to assume that they do let's watch this these are these this is the idf the israeli defense forces bombing 
a few people carrying backpacks in Gaza. All right, so there you go. There you go. Wasn't that that uh, in, impressive that they took out those Hamas terrorists uh, carrying backpacks? I, I guess that, that that was good that they did that. Um, by the way, what what I mean, just to reiterate from my video yesterday, you know, Rush. I mean, uh, um, Israel says they want ten to one. You know, when you attack Israel, they're going to kill ten to one. Well, they already accomplished that. They've already accomplished killing 10 Palestinians to every one uh, Israeli that lost their life in the raid. Um, so, And a lot of more footage is coming out about the Apache helicopters that blew up those cars at that uh, that little festival. And you might want to get on uh, Twitter, and or not Twitter, X. You want to get on X, you might find some video about that. I don't know if it's true or not. certainly does look like it. When you look at those cars, they, they're just completely tore up. Uh, so what did you think? A bunch of guys on gladders gliders could carry over top of the wall that would do that type of damage to the cars that were at that festival i'm just saying you know because being a military type i don't i don't know of anything that i could carry that would just completely obliterate these cars especially from the bullet holes on top how did the gazans get up on top of the cars and shoot down into the cars riddle me that batman riddle me that just saying so uh so i was right about the war in, in the middle east um Right about the stock market crash. Well, I, that's coming up. That's coming up. Uh, and I've been wrong. Oh, my God. I bought uh, inverse uh, funds, which you can buy. Um, I won't even give them to you because I've lost so much money. <laughs> or, or currency. I can't call it money because it's just printed debt from the United States. But, uh, but yeah, yeah, I do, I do think that it's coming. Uh, I'm definitely right about the commercial real estate crash. Uh, that, I'm watching a lot of videos now. That's happening. Uh, right now, uh, rents are dropping here in uh, Florida. Our insurance rates are going up. Uh, we got inflation. Uh, a lot of these big commercial buildings are coming up for renewal on these higher interest rates. So, yeah, you're going to see a real estate market crash like you haven't seen. And, of course, so I say, was I right about it? No, I guess that's kind of more or less a prediction. Right about residential real estate crash. Oh, and about the dollar crash. So we we're, dollars definitely devaluing. I do believe that uh, with the entire world, the BRICS nations, getting away from the dollar, that uh, you know it's just going to be a worthless piece of paper, and it's going to be sooner than you think. I, I thought it would take till 2028 or somewhere around in there, but man, this this thing is spinning out of control. And the residential real estate, I think that's going to hit. Well, it's definitely hitting in 2024, if not sooner. And then, of course, I was right about the banking crash. So. Let's finish off with a little uh, Russian hardware. Here we go. Быстрее! 
So I guess that's it for this video. Just one, this is my right, I was right about everything video. Peace out. Stay free. Oh, and one last thing. I know that the, the sound quality in these videos, I'm getting like an echo on this mic right here. I don't understand it because it was recording me really, really well. Maybe it's because the house has an echo. But I'm going to, you know, for the Black Friday deals, I'll look into getting a Bluetooth uh, mic. Those are expensive, man. They're, you know, to get the proper system, it's like 200 and some dollars. So my sound quality should go up on the videos as a result. Uh, but I, I got to wait. I'm going to wait for the deals and see if there's anything offered. Because uh, uh, just like you, you got to save a buck or two. You can run on for a long time. Run on for a long time, run on for a long time. Sooner or later, God's gonna cut you down. Sooner or later, God's gonna cut you down. Go tell that globalist liar, that Democrat idiot writer, that rhino rambler, that nuclear war gambler, that backbiting U.S. politician, Sooner or later, God's gonna cut you down. Sooner or later, God's gonna cut you down.